friends, Romans, and also countrymen. It has been a while. <clears throat> At least for me. Probably not for you, because it's probably just been a week. Oh well. Anyway, we're back with Sword and Sorcery, and uh, I'd like to get right back into it, because I am excited, because I want to finish the game! Because I haven't actually finished the game yet, and it says I'm only 9% done, so... <clears throat> we may huh? be uh, doing this for a while. I'm excited. Good game. Hey. Definitely good game. <clears throat> Sadly, I stupidly forgot to set up my timer, so... I, uh... May have to check things, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. No freaking out. All right, Wolf. <laughs> Taking you on with my sword and also my sorcery. We had retrieved the megatome, and Logfellow was a hundred hundred percent ready to move it, move it, to move it, move it to the ah. Uh, I get it. To move it, move it to the safety of his lodgings. We sensed a gathering thunderstorm. And yet, a little song began in our heart. They have one collective heart? Strange. Oh, more excellent music. Sorry, I'm just listening to it, because it's so good. <coughs> I'm sorry about the cough, guys. <coughs> ah. Screw you, wolf. Screw you. It's a little loud in my, in my, in my So it's starting to rain.
Eve awoke in the deathless specter who slumbered in the darkness between beneath Mingai Ta. Yikes! Sorry, that's is that is not the voice for that guy. Consequently, a sinister thunderstorm looms, and the lovely people who live in the stone hut are a little heartbroken. That's not quite the voice either. The upshot is. You've got the burdensome book known as the Megatome. In our next session, we'll discuss its strange purpose. Our research shows that prolonged exposure to the mythopoetic psychocosmology of S, S, and S, E, P can have adverse side effects. Now that you've completed session one, how's about we take a little break? I'll be right here, turning into Van the Cockney, with this for session two. Hope don't Okay, I am. I apologize heavily for anything that you just heard, because it hurt my brain. Probably more than it would ever hurt your brain. Alright. Let me just check. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm g just gonna jump back right back in because I don't wanna I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. Okay, so where were we? Oh, right now I remember. We got a burdensome book known as the Megatome. I'm not gonna do the voice. You woke the deathless specter who lurks in the darkness uh, between. Be, why do I want to say between? Beneath Mingai Ta. What a creep, am I right? <clears throat> it is a time of woe. A sinister thunderstorm has clouded the skies, and the lovely people who live in the hut are miserable. Silencing the storm will require some familiarity with psionics, cryptozoology, and miracles. One, a sorcerer's touch will unseal the Megatome, revealing the unspoken thoughts of living creatures and other esoteric material. Two, strange sylvan sprites, sources of s sources of sorcery, <coughs> slumber in ponds, woods, and meadows, seek their subtle, sponorous sp spumes. Three, a sorcerer who can locate summon and tame the cosmic geometry of the golden trigon will possess its the ability to work miracles. Confused? Excellent. Keep calm and carry on. Ha, I see what you did there. <laughs> so we're back here. Um, as I recall, we head back to Fella's hut and talk to Log fella and the girl. known as Logfella had given up on his wood chopping due to the sinister storm. Logfella reminded us of how the storm rolled in pretty much right after we had retrieved the Megatome from beneath, beneth Mingaita. So was Logfella not so subtly suggesting that maybe we ought to try to do something to lift the storm? I think so. The dark-haired girl known as Girl was feeling the woe. Ever since the storm began, the girl had seen, seen sonorous spoons of sylvan sprites of slumbered in the world you know. She wondered if maybe the three sylvan sprites could help lift the storm. She asked us to investigate the sponorous spume bubbling out of the deep water pond outside the hut. The girl spoke of a sprite in the meadow nearby, and yet another sprite in the nest box that was home to three rain-soaked songbirds. songbirds. The girl told us to seek out the sponor sonorous spumes of these three sylvan, sylvan sprites and send them skyward with the song of sorcery. Sorcery. Is that different? 
Inside the hut we spawned it. Okay, yeah, we've read that already. <coughs> so yeah, we gotta... It's this guy. What are you doing in the real world? I thought you were fictitious. It's time to learn the Song of Sworcery, a conscious expansion technique that reveals mystical music, a mu mystical musical dimension. Keep calm and follow my directions to summon the sylvan sprite that softly slumbers in the cool waters of the deep water pond. They make these sentences so hard to read. Oh my god. But, whatever. Game's too cool for me to care. So remember we... Oh, we hold on these guys? Oh, yeah. Forgot. So this is the puzzle aspect. Um... Of the... The game. Is you gotta... Uh, where's the other one? Do you just guide it to here? I can't remember quite how to do this. Yep. Then I remember we tap it. Three times. <coughs> so yeah, these are the puzzle bits, or summoning these sprites. We sang the song of sorcery and summoned a slumbering sylvan sprite from the cool waters of a deep water pond. So strange. Um... Okay, where doth we go next? Do we talk to them? I think we might talk to them. <sighs> huh? No, we don't. So I guess we need to go <coughs> and do the sprite in the meadow. Because we can't get the other one, because as I recall, it's past the gate. Ah! this guy. Very nicely done. You've learned the song of sorcery, and now the unfathomable power of the Megatome is yours. The Megatome intercepts linguistic thought transmissions and contains everything you'll need to complete this wolf. Your woeful errand. I'm thinking about something right now at this moment. Why not open the Megatome and uh, look for me to find out what's on my mind? Look for a white triangle at the top right. Tap it, and then equip the Megatome and reveal what's hidden. So yeah, this is really cool, because you can read people's thoughts. Megatome! Alright. So, I have thoughts. So this is the Megatome. It... Is it absorbing li linguistic thought transmissions? Am I reading my thoughts as I'm thinking them? Hmm... <clears throat> I think the answer is yes to that question. As you can see, the Megatome gathers and collects linguistic thought transmissions. Scroll down to see what I was thinking before. To sing a song of sorcery at any time, tap and hold upon <coughs> the Scythian for any for a moment or two and observe the gathering sorcery aura. Once you sing a song of sorcery, tap and hold the sorcery... Okay, so I know all this is just telling me how to do... Um, Stuff, and it's a lot of reading, which I kind of don't want to do. Also, did I have more thoughts? Are my thoughts arranged chronologically in the order I thought them? So this must be what I was thinking a few seconds ago. Wait, why am I referring to myself in the first person? I thought our story was told in second person. Yeah, okay. I like how it says, in days of yore. Like it's a Twitter feed. I think that's kind of the point, is that it's a, like a Twitter feed, <coughs> and the date is in days of yore. I think that's pretty funny. Alright, guys, I think I'm going to end it here before we go and summon the next sprite. Um, so, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, just generally enjoy your life. Um, and remember to check out our website, namelesspixel.net. There'll be more content like this, more content that's different, um, just more content in general. Um, 
uh, and look forward to more episodes of this next week, or more, a more, one more episode of this next week. Um, we'll be continuing the game till we finish it, and, uh, other than that, guys, I would like to thank you for watching, and, uh, say happy sword and sorcerying.